everyone, so today is day two of Comic Con slash Yauk. It's our least bookish day, I would say, just because I genuinely have no authors to meet today. So we'll probably spend most of the day going down to the actual Comic Con floor, so get ready to actually spend money. And of course, I'm going to go stalk Podrick again because, you know, reasons. So I was one of those kids who wrote all the time. I started writing in second grade. I had all these little books and I illustrated them very badly. And I thought I would be an author, but when I got older, I really, I struggled to finish books. And I just kind of put it aside and thought, I guess this isn't for me. And it wasn't until a few years ago when I read The Hunger Games, actually, and I was really inspired by that series. And I loved the YA voice and I thought, well, maybe I'll try this. So I sat down and I wrote another book and I actually finished it. And it was a terrible dystopian knockoff. It had like a love triangle, it had an evil future government, it had like every trope you could think of, and I just threw it all in there. I was like, this is great, this is gonna be huge. And 85 agents disagreed with me vehemently, didn't go anywhere, so I wrote a second book. Um, and by that time I you know, met other writers, I was starting to exchange work, I realized I had a ways to go before I was actually publishable. Um, so the second book also didn't go anywhere. But then I got the idea for One of Us is Lying, and I wrote that pretty quickly in a couple months, and I revised it in a couple months, and I too had a color-coded spreadsheet, and my agent was right at the top. And um, I wasn't sure if the book was ready, and I thought, you know what, she's gonna reject me, I'm just gonna send it, and I'll get it out of my system. And uh, she requested in like an hour. And I was like, I'm not ready, the book's not ready. And I madly revised it for another five days and then I actually sent it to her. Um, and then things happened pretty quickly. So it took me um, three books, but, um, but once I hit on the right idea, it, it um, took off. Um, for me, it's probably, I'm, I'm very torn between Prince Rimeresh and Holland Vosick. Uh, ho um, everyone would think I would say Holland, but the thing about Prince Rimeresh in the Shades of Magic series is that he's an entirely performative character. He, he changes his um, attitude and style and way of ma and mannerisms depending on his environment. And that makes him a very, very hard character to write because he's pretending to be a different person, whatever people want. And so getting to kind of the core of him and then understanding which layered masks he's putting back on top always made him very, very tricky. Yeah. Okay, so basically guys, this is Vic James. And if you've watched my videos, you know how Gilded Cage has changed my life. We've just come to the Harry Potter wall and of course me being me, the crazy psychotic Mrs. Malfoy, has found someone's biggest memory from Harry Potter is everything Malfoy. And because I agree, I just had to show you because it's the best card, obviously. <laughs> Hi guys! So I'm here with Katie Webber, who you know Hi. I love. Thank you. I had to show you her cosplay. I am Karu from Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Got my Hosmas and True Story, and I'm very excited to be interviewing Lainey shortly. You have you actually gone to signing? Yes, I've done because two. you're an author. You're kind of on the other side know. of it. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just noticing that my like fringe is crazy. Wig, wig problems. Um, yeah, I've done a few signings. It's been amazing. Thank you to everyone who's come to my signing. Oh my so. gosh, I saw your line, and I was really sad I couldn't go. You know, because I you've already, already got signing. So, but I find good reader because you know it's your first time. Yeah, well. I, like, oh I have the God. best readers. I feel like so many people saw my cover reveal yeah. last year, and now they're like, look, you're like doing yeah. it. I feel like no, I'm like. I, it's really nice to have so much support, so thank you guys. We're just at the Waterstones shop and we are dying over these covers. As much as we want to say that, you know, covers don't matter, I saw this and I just died inside. I mean, that is hashtag book porn right there. I have just found the shop that kind of encaptures my soul and I need to show you all. Can you imagine Will Herondale sporting one of these outfits? Look at these clothes. And the best one, let me show you. Look at that. That is what Will Herondale will wear to my wedding. We've just come to my favourite shop, which is of course, swords. How long has Liv wanted a sword? This is the best security system you can have in your house. The burglar comes in, stabby stab stab. Oh, they have little knives as well. OK, 
Okay, I'm just about to show you a really exciting person. Hi, it's Emma. How do you pronounce your surname? Ha. So in England we get away with Bocelli. If you're Italian, it's Bocelli. Okay. <laughs> well, she did the graphic novel adaptation of Vampire Academy, and it's incredible. And we've just been discussing how sad it is that it didn't make the full series. But I just want to show you her artwork because it's incredible.